Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. This is Renee and Taurus will get into this reading. Um, this reading is your general reading for January 15th through the 31st and um, this reading is timeless. You know, whenever you see my readings is when you were meant to see them. So whenever they, whenever you see them is when they were meant to resonate. If this reading doesn't resonate, you can always take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity of the situation. If you know your moon and rising sign. And okay, Taurus, let's see what kind of energy you're in. Awaken your authentic self and be true to you. Definitely. Definitely. And we have change one thing today. Start small. So, Taurus. <coughs> I feel like, especially with this full moon just coming through, I feel like you're trying to make changes. You're trying to work on yourself. You're trying to probably gain more clarity on some kind of situation that's going on. Um, but I don't really get the feeling that you're taking more time out for you. You're kind of soul searching at the moment, Taurus. What else do we have for Taurus? Learning experience, definitely. So I feel like, yeah, you, you're trying to come to an awareness. Mother, Father, God. Yeah, you may be trying to become more spiritual at the moment also. Uh, you may be looking more into your spirituality. Uh, but Taurus, I really feel like there's um, a spiritual awakening ahead of you. What else do we have for Taurus? What else do we have for Taurus for January for um, January 15th through the 31st? Okay, let's get in some tarot. Spirit, tell me more about Taurus. What's going on with Taurus? The 15th through the 31st. What's going on with Taurus? Yeah, you're definitely trying to look within to find answers uh, you're hoping for some kind of renewal some kind of clarity um, I feel like you're trying to find your balance Taurus definitely you're moving away from something the six of swords you may have had a lot of chaos, a lot of things going on. There may have been conflict. And you're, you're moving past that. You're moving on to calmer things. You're trying to find a calm awareness, you know. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Okay. And we have the King of Cups. So as you're moving away, as you're trying to find calmer places, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, Taurus, I feel like you are, you're moving into this place that I feel like you're, you're loving yourself more. But I feel like you also have the opportunity to love. I feel like if you're, if you're open to love, I feel like love is a possibility for you very soon this is going to be some sort of new beginning new new venture um this may also be you moving into a new position maybe you're moving to a new job but I definitely feel a lot of movement going on for you. A lot of being busy. But you're still trying to find that calmness. That self-awareness. That 
kind of gives time for yourself. You know what I mean? Um, and like I said, if, if you're open to love, I feel like love is a really big possibility for you. Tell me more about what's coming in for Taurus. What's coming in for Taurus? The Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're looking for more stability. More Pentacles. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. So you're moving from the Nine to the Ten of Pentacles. So you're definitely... I feel like if this is a new job, you're moving up. You're you're gaining a new promotion. You're moving from one level to the next. And this is increasing your abundance, Taurus. I feel like you're progressing into this situation. And we have the Seven of Wands. Okay. So if this is a new position, this is definitely one with more responsibility. Um, but I feel like you're very strong. You're very strong, um, Taurus. You have the strength to go through whatever. You know, I've, I've, and you know, the strength card is also a card of self-love, self-respect, you know, confidence. So I, I feel like you're moving into an awareness where you see how valuable it is to love yourself, to know your worth, you know? The Seven of Cups. Yeah, I think that this month you're going to see all the opportunities in the Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay, you're going to see all the opportunities that are ahead of you. I feel like a lot of opportunities are opening up for you, um, Taurus. And it's going to lead to a lot of satisfaction. This is, you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So I feel like a lot of beginnings are starting this month. Um, this may be a beginning of new love, something passionate coming into your life. This also may be a, a, the beginning of a new position, a new job. Uh, you may get, be getting a promotion at your job with this Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Um, so I, I feel like this is going to be a, a pretty busy end of the month for you. Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. So with this new position, with this new situation coming through, you want to be careful about the people around you. There's people around you who are jealous of your position. They're jealous of what you have in front of you. This may be love. This may be a new job. But someone is standing by. Someone's looking in the background. Someone is jealous of whatever that you're doing. They're jealous of what you're gaining. There's someone very envious in the background, you know. We have the Queen of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> so with the Queen of Swords, I feel like... You're gaining some kind of wisdom... Some kind of truth is coming out. Yeah, the hermit. Some kind of truth is coming out to clarify the situation. I feel like if someone is being sneaky, if someone's being conniving, you're going to find out exactly who that is. And you're going to, the truth is going to come out and you're going to kind of put an end to it very quickly. This person isn't going to be able to do whatever it is that they're trying to do because they're trying to do something sneaky and conniving behind your back but i feel like you put a stop to it very quickly i feel like that turns around they're not able to carry out the plans that they had you know i feel like they had something planned to kind of take you down to maybe turn you in or um 
if this is a job to go to HR and talk to them about you or just something sneaky like that. You know, I feel like that's what they were up to. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So you definitely have a lot of changes. A lot of changes that are going in your favor. You know, so whatever this is with this sneaky person, they're not going to be able to do whatever it is that they wanted to carry out. Because the truth comes out and you kind of catch them at their game. And whatever this is, it, it it's turning in your favor. Taurus. Yeah, we have the Three of Cups. So definitely definitely um they're not able to do what they're what they're hoping they could do you know i'm gonna move these down a little bit i hope you can still see them okay <clears throat> i'm sorry i'm kind of congested today so i'm gonna move that over there okay okay so um yeah i, I feel like you've got this all figured out this is something that is going to work out for your favor. So there's no need to worry. There's no need to even hesitate because, you know, you're progressing from, from the 9 to the 10. So everything's going to work out in your favor. Okay, let's get a little bit of a clarification. Tell me more for Taurus. Oops. We have the ten, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles. So whatever the situation is, it's going to increase your abundance. It's going to bring some kind of new income. Some, um, I believe it may have been a new position or maybe a promotion. Um, but I feel like you're in definitely in a better position, Taurus. At the end of this month, you're definitely going to be at a better position than you were last month. And you have the High Priestess. So, Taurus. I, I definitely feel like secrets are coming out. You're finding out about something. But I also feel like... This is this with this high priestess. This is you trusting yourself. This is you gaining your confidence. And it's moving you definitely into a better position, into a better state of mind because you have the four of wands. So you're definitely in a better state of mind coming the end of the month. And the Queen of Swords, okay? So you got the Queen of Swords twice. So a lot of truth is going to come out in this situation. You're going to figure things out. You're going to come into an awareness that brings you to this next level. Okay, we have the King of Wands on the bottom. So, of course, Taurus, if you're open to love, you do have that fiery, passionate love that's coming through for you if that is what you are looking for okay let's get some clarity cards what is coming in for taurus tell me more about what's coming in for taurus for january 15th through the 31st what's coming in for taurus expect miracles so something miraculous is going to happen in your life Taurus something that you maybe did not expect some opportunity is going to come through that's going to bring a lot of change into your life it's going to bring something that you never expected to happen you know so I, I feel like by the end of the month you're going to be in a totally better place tell me more spirit Tell me more about this situation. What do we need to tell Taurus? Facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. 
definitely and we have phases and cycles there is a beginning within every ending illusions are revealing and released like I said I feel like there's going to be something that's going to be um, revealed to you I feel like with this you've got two queen of swords so something definitely some truths are coming out something is being revealed that you were unaware of so taurus take a moment and ask a question and we'll get some answers take a moment and ask a question And the answer is listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Uh, your intuition isn't going to steer you wrong, Taurus. Nine times out of ten, your intuition is going to be correct every time. And romance. So definitely, like I said, if you're open to romance, there is romance here. You have the King of Cups and also the... Um, King of Wands. So there's something very loving, very passionate that could be on the way with this Knight of Wands as well. So I'm going to take one more just for the heck of it. We have helpful people. So Taurus, there may be helpful people that are around you that want to help you soar as you go through these changes. So if Taurus if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and make sure to take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity on your situation if um, this reading doesn't resonate take a look at your moon and rising sign if you know those and until the next reading many blessings